Hi, everyone, and welcome back to Latin Series Speaker. I'm your host, Hannah Guzman, and we have Jimena Cardenas in the building, who's going to talk about her journey to Canada and her wonderful business model that she has. Jimena, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm so, so happy to be here. Can you tell us a bit about yourself? Yes, absolutely. So I am Jimena, Master Mindset, Money Mindset, and Manifestation Coach, and I've been in Canada for the past 15 years. I came as a refugee when I was 17 years old. I'm originally from Colombia, but in Colombia, the situation was a bit complicated. Um, my grandmother actually was kidnapped and murdered by a terrorist group. So we had to leave the country. It wasn't something that I... We had no choice. We had to leave Colombia. So I left Colombia when I was 17 years old with my mom and my and my sister and, and we came to Canada as refugees and that was the moment where I totally realized that I could sit there and keep blaming my past and why things were happening to me and I could like absolutely hate the fact that I was here or I could make something out of this opportunity and I could become a better version of myself. We, I didn't speak English at the time. Uh, we didn't have any connections, no money. So we totally had to start from scratch. And I have totally manifested the life that I wanted to design and that I wanted to create. And I'm so, so proud of that. And I'm proud of you. I remember us meeting and how far I've seen you grow. I can only imagine how far you grew from when you got off the plane to today, especially after this pandemic. I feel we all need candy or something thrown at us. Uh, yeah, continuously. totally. <laughs> continuously, I have to ask you, what is your business and how can people look for you and contract you? Like, what is, what is the Glovisica brand? Yeah, so I, I started my business three years ago as a holistic nutritionist uh, because, you know, through my own struggles, I was always struggling with my weight and diets. I was constantly dieting and it almost became an obsession. I was obsessed with my weight, the way my body looked. Uh, so I decided to study nutrition because I was very passionate about it. And through working with clients, I realized that, hold on a second, this is way more than just here's a meal plan and go on and follow it. Like we have so many emotions that are weighing down on us. Uh, even for myself, like I had a very unhealthy relationship with food. Even after nutrition school, I was like obsessed with everything I was eating and the number of calories. And, you know, it had to be organic and all these things. And it became a very unhealthy obsession. So I started to unlearn a lot of the things that I had learned and who I was supposed to be. So I was going through life, you know, just ticking boxes, mm -hmm. get married, uh, lose some weight, get a good job, like do all these things. And at the end of the day, I didn't feel fulfilled. Like I didn't feel good enough. So that's when I started the, the journey to, that led me to inner healing and working through my own shadows and limiting beliefs. And that's when I realized that I had this big limiting belief of not enough. And I always felt that I wasn't enough and that I had to do more and constantly chase things and money and lose weight for me to feel enough. And so one day I decided to compete on a bodybuilding competition and I signed up for this thing and I was working super hard and training for a whole year. And then when the competition came, I was standing on stage and I was like, is this it? Like I worked so hard for this moment. And you know, sometimes when we tell ourselves, oh, I'll be happy when I lose the weight. I'll be happy when I make more money. And you just work so hard for it. And then that moment came and you, you see the money on your bank account or you see the number on the scale. And you're like, this is not it. And that's because we, we never really do the work to fulfill ourselves. So Glolistica was born out of my own struggles, but also the struggles that I was seeing my client have as well. And it was the fact that we were looking for external things versus glowing from the inside out. So that's literally what it means is it's holistic is the word holistic in Spanish, but 
it comes from glow. The fact that you have to glow from the inside out in a holistic way that involves uh, mind, body, and soul. I'm in love with you. Like, can we be best friends? Can we be best friends at this we point? Yeah. <laughs> they don't need to know. They don't need to know. Uh, I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. I love your story. I'm always a fan of you and everything that you do. I wanted to ask you, were there anything, any, what was the number one limiting belief that you felt or still feel today that was holding you back from starting your own business? Um. I think overall in my life, the biggest limiting belief, well, first of all, when I started my inner journey three years, um, yeah, three years ago after the bikini competition, it's almost four years now. And I was standing on stage and I was like, is this it? Like I'm fit. I lost the weight. I feel that I still not enough and I need to lose more weight. I'm still comparing myself. I'm insecure. So the fact that I was not enough was the biggest limiting belief that was holding me back, not just in, in when it came to weight loss and wellness, mm -hmm. but also in my business. Because when I started my business, I didn't feel that I was good enough. So I was always chasing more. Oh, I need more certificates. I need more followers. I, you know, you, you yeah. keep telling yeah. yourself that you need more because you're not good enough the way you are. And that's uh, then a lot of imposter syndrome starts coming in. And you're like, you have this inner voice that again, you have to like constantly fight back when you start a business. And when you have a business, even right now, a lot of my clients still struggle with imposter syndrome because for so many years, you know, for me, for 30 years of my life, I was listening to this voice that was telling me that you're not good enough. And who do you think you are? And nobody's going to pay for that. And who are you to be showing up and doing these things and stepping out of your comfort zone? And that voice is what keeps us small. So I think for me and for a big majority of people is that limiting belief that you're not good enough the way you are and that you're not worthy of having the life that you want, whatever that is, and, and you don't feel worthy of more. So those are two things that I had to deal with and that now I help my clients deal with as well. I find that you're the most transparent coach that I have on my like roster, like on my on my feed whenever I see you I know that you're spitting real hard facts because I know you right so it's always that it always gives me satisfaction when you're doing I'm like okay yeah she knows she knows what she's talking about she's been there done that I find it important for me at least to see somebody who's been there before talking about the thing they've been there before doing right we're, we're not here talking about science when you and I aren't scientists yeah you never know at this point <laughs> <laughs> But it's true. It's true. And I feel that that's what adds more value. And sometimes we underestimate um, our life experiences and we think that, you know, what I've gone through is whatever. And we brush it off, um, especially like for me, I don't know how it was for you, but it was always like as a Latina growing up, it was like, you have to be strong and, you know, like you have to like hustle. And my dad was always telling me like, you can't depend on a guy financially or some other parents will tell you like you all you have to do is like sit pretty and find a rich husband so we grow up with all these limiting beliefs that start to form us and who we are and it, it becomes how an identity that is not truly who we are it's not what our soul came here to do uh, I'm, I'm also getting certified as a numerologist but i've been learning all these things about our purpose like our purpose is not to come here to earth and do, do, do. Our purpose is to be, to become the version of ourselves that we came here to do. And even uh, I deal a lot with money mindset. So sometimes we think that all the things that I need to do to make more money, but in fact, that's actually what's repelling money. If, if we want to attract and become a magnet for opportunities and clients and money, then we have to start being that version of ourselves, the version of us who trust that we are one with the universe, that this, the universe is a source of, of money. It's not the government or, or the bank or any of that. It's like opportunities are unlimited and there's so much abundance in the world. And we didn't come here to struggle and suffer and go through hard times. We came here to learn. And every hardship that we go through is our lesson is our breakthrough. It 
helps us and develops us to become who we're meant to be. So mm -hmm. those life experiences that you and I have gone through, that's what makes us, that's what makes us unique. That's also what makes us stand out. Like there are so many coaches out there and money mindset coaches, but nobody's me and nobody's you, right? And that's our biggest, biggest asset. And I feel like a lot of the times we, we underestimate that a lot. Most definitely. I have to share a personal story with you uh, before we jump off. I actually thought about you a couple of days ago. I went into a store that I would never go to typically because it's an expensive store and yeah. I needed to buy something and I walked into the store and I, and I was with my family friend and it was just an outing. And, you know, they go to me, Hannah, well, why don't you ever go into that store if you like it? I said, well, you know, it's really expensive. I, I can't afford anything in there, especially now. But they said to me, you know what, walking, you never know. There might be a sale. You might be able to get it. And I walked in and there was a sale. And what? yeah, <laughs> and I've never, I've always wanted one of these things. And we, we walked in and it so happens that, the item that I bought was almost was basically 50% off its sale, its original price of like $980. So it was wow. like in the 400s, which is still to me, it's still on the higher end point of, of things that I can afford, but it was still accessible compared to the 900. So I made the effort and I purchased it, um, which is something I've never done before. You know me already. I was I was, you know scramble 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 for sales but this yeah. was a sale in and in, in I and I remember thinking about you I'm like but Jimena said I kid you not I said in my head I'm like Jimena said you can buy nice things that you deserve them so I, I ended up buying it and it was something I want to thank you at least on YouTube for you're preaching this and I actually used it and I bought it and I was very happy with it and it's I absolutely love it and you know what and you bought it from an energy of empowerment versus because this is another thing like the, the oh my god we can talk about all day about like our relationship with money because each one of us has a relationship with money just like we have a relationship with our parents or our spouse or partner or whatever or friends and it's the same thing with money. So it, I always tell everyone, like, think about like being in a romantic relationship. Like you don't want to go to the extremes, right? Like you don't want to become, you don't want to be in an abusive relationship where you overspend and you, you know, you make some money and then you spend it all and more, and then you go into debt. Like, obviously that's not what we want. And also we can, it's all about that feeling as well. So like to, like this like millionaire version of us doesn't have to spend like a millionaire. I talk a lot about self-care, self-love, self-worth. And it's like, you know, you, you got you got up this morning and you did a workout and you filled your own cup and you prioritize your well-being and you put on some lipstick and mm -hmm. now you feel like a million bucks. And is that feeling that is going to get you to act in a way that's more confident, especially in your business? That is going to allow you to also close sales because it's all about energy. So when when yes, absolutely, you you are you're worthy of nice things. Uh, trust me, I also struggle with this. That I was always like, well, I have to stick to these counts and sales, and I I can never like go mm -hmm. into a store and buy and buy you know like the um, or pay the original price. But it's all conditioning our mindset, and as long as we're being responsible and we're purchasing from a place of empowerment and we trust that you know I got this like it's money it's gonna come and go it flows it's not yeah. stuck in one place like yes you're gonna invest in this right now but more is gonna come and it's always having that trust and that belief that that you're safe and that you're secure and that you don't that you're not going to struggle the way I like to see our relationship with the universe and money is like think of your parents right when you were a kid you never thought about like, oh my God, I wonder how, how I'm going to be, where I'm going to get food, how I'm going to be fed. Uh, is there's going to be, is there's going to be food tonight? Like you never thought about that because your parents just gave it to you and your basic needs were always covered. So it's the yeah. same thing when we have that trusting, loving relationship with the universe, that it's like you, you can trust that you're going to be okay and more is coming and you, you're always going to be supported. I love that. I love that. I feel like this is such an empowering episode and, and some like they will learn like our listeners and our viewers are going to learn. I know listeners, you know me, you know, the industry I'm in, I hate listeners. Uh, the viewers are always going to take so much from this. How can people find you? Where can we reach you? Um, and thank you so much for being on. 
Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy to be here. You can always find me at Glowlistica everywhere. <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> Instagram, all social media platforms. Well, I don't really use Twitter, um, but yeah, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, I'm there. Um, the one that I use the most is Instagram for sure. So you can come and hang out with me on Instagram. Um, and yeah. Thank you so much for being on here. As always, if you like this channel, please subscribe, share with a friend, and don't forget to comment below. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Hannah Guzman with Jimena Cardenas on the other side. Bye. Bye.